Hello friends, welcome once again on my channel for another video and this video is all about the voice and how we will be able to give our project a voice. We are going to use a ESP32 based board and this ESP32 board we know that GPIO 25 and 26 are there which are digital to analog converter pin. So we are going to produce the sound waves on that pin for that we are going to use this ESP32 based board another thing we are going to use this amplifier and it is PAM8403 based class D amplifier it is very small and very uh, compact working good another thing is a uh, speaker you may use uh, 8 ohm speaker and other than that we'll use these connecting wires so let's see how this all works now to play an audio file through ESP32 board we need an Arduino library and it is available on extronical.com website here you can see this is extronical website from this website you can download the library here it is that audio 4.2.1 released you can go over there here you can see on this page the download is available you may download uh, this library from this link I have already downloaded this uh, library. You can download this library and use. In this project, we are going to play an audio file through ESP32. So we need an audio file for that. You can uh, directly record your own audio or uh, you can uh, use the existing audio file. In this project, we need the audio file in WAV format. It is also possible to get the audio file by the conversion of text string into the voice and we are going to do so. For that we are having a free website and it is www.fromtexttospeech.com. From this website we will convert our text string to the speech and we will use in this project. Now we will go to this site. Now here it is the website. So I want my ESP32 should speak welcome to my YouTube channel. So we'll just write it over there. Here it is. Now we will convert it into the audio file. Few options are there like select language. We will select US English. Other than that we are to select the voice and uh, we will select the Jena. Another thing we are to select is the speed and different options are there. We will select the medium. Now click on this button to create the audio file. It will take about a minute to convert the text into voice. Here it is done. Here you can see the instructions. Right click on the link. Select save target as or save link as. So right click on the link and click on save link as. So here it is the save option. I'm going to save it on the desktop. And uh, here it is. I'm going to make a folder named sound. In this folder, I'm going to save the audio file.
here it is in the folder you can see uh, audio file is there and its format is mp3 to use this file in project we need a WAV file format and uh, in WAV format we need certain specification of this sound file so we are going to use an another software that is audacity so uh, you can get the audacity software from this link here you can see it is audacityteam.org i'll show you the website you can see this is audacityteam.org website we have to click on this checkbox that i'm not a robot and then this website is open you can download from there for window for mac os or for linux you can download for different platforms i've already downloaded and uh, here it is so i'm going to open our file in this software and we have to convert its a uh, format as per requirement of our ASP32 library so here it is our mp3 file which we have converted from our text to speech website so let's see how it is working welcome on my youtube channel now we want to convert this file usable in our ESP32 library for that we need to convert rate and we can choose 16 kilohertz or 8 kilohertz so I'm going to use 8 kilohertz after selection we have to go over there tracks and mix and then we have to click on mix and render here you can see it is 22,050 hertz just now and when we click on this mix and render you can see it is converted into 8000 hertz now we have to save it in wave format for that we have to go to file and then export we have to export this file as wave uh, we have to export in a uh, wave format we are going to save it in our previous folder and it is sound so now we have to choose what type of wave file we need to convert so we will not uh, select this 16 bit we need 8 bit but uh, option is not available so we will go over there other uncompressed files when we go there then we will get some options so we will select wave microsoft and unsigned 8 bit pcm and these settings are correct and now we are going to click on save so here it is a uh, detail of this sound file so we are not to do anything we, if we want we can remove this but if we want to keep we can keep so we'll click on ok here you can see we have got wave file still we are not be able to use this wave file directly in our library we have to convert this in hexadecimal codes for that we are to use an another software and that is hxd and you can download this software from this link and it is free here you can see i have already opened this website and you can click on download to download this software you can see different options are available uh, you can choose as per your suitable option i've already downloaded this software so i'll directly open this software here it is i have already downloaded so i have opened now i'm going to open the wave file which we have save here you can see this web wave file is there we have to open this wave file and here you'll get the hexadecimal code now we have to export this export this file as 
C. Okay, we have to choose this option. So it will convert in a text format which we will be able to use with our library and we will be able to play this WAV file through ESP32. So now you can see this file over there. You can open this file. It is text file you can see over there. You can see the size of this raw data and you can see the hexadecimal data over there and it is a big file. It is very long file and we are to put this all data with our Arduino code and then we load this all in our ESP32. Now here it is I have opened the Arduino ID and I have already installed the library and we are going to use the example of that particular library and the library is there it is XT deck audio different examples are there I'm going to use the play wave example so here in this example you can see the code is there and another file is also there and that is sound data of H so here you can see the sound data and it is hexadecimal and uh, you can see it's a very big file you also see that we have made a similar file you can see the data the hexadecimal code so we'll copy these hexadecimal code and replace in that example so I'm going to select this all up to the end of this file and I'll copy then I'll open this file and I'll replace this code from there up to the end it will change and uh, whatever we have set to speak it will speak so now we'll paste here it is another thing what we will do is that uh, we'll write this size to that hexadecimal header file and it is 16344 so we'll write 16344 over there in this file 16344 now our code is ready it will speak what we have set now we'll see how we are to connect the speaker amplifier board and ESP32 and then we'll burn this code on our ESP32 and see how it works now here we will see how we will connect these all things together it is very easy only we are going to use these four wires in this board this last pin is V in so when we connect it with USB a 5 volt will be there so we'll connect this 5 volt and we'll put this 5 volt in this amplifier board and uh, here it is 5 volt after that we'll connect the ground for uh, this power supply so over there this pin is there here we have connected and uh, on this ESP32 board uh, after 4 pin 5th pin is ground so here it is we have connected after 4 pin we have connected 5th fifth, fifth pin with this ground now from there the 5th pin is GPIO25 so uh, we are going to connect this with GPIO25 and this will be the input for this amplifier so we can see inputs are there and uh, we are going to connect 
this input over there and uh, another thing middle one is the ground so we will connect it over there and in this ESP32 this last pin is ground so we are going to connect this and thereafter we are going to connect this speaker so a connector is there we will just put it over there here it is so the connections are ready now we'll upload the code in this ESP32 and uh, see how it works here it is our connection and uh, now we are going to connect the ESP32 with the laptop and uh, here it is you can see it is power up and we are going to burn the code on this ESP32 here it is it will take few seconds here you can see it is start uploading now it is done so now we'll make it on so you can see it is done and it is working nicely and you can see it is very easy to get it done connections are also very easy so you can listen once again It is in loop, so it is repeating again and again. Hope you like this project. Subscribe my channel, click on bell icon, click on thumbs up. Thanks for watching.